in this channel i showed more than 50 my caps but these are the 10 and apps that i actually use every single day and for the best part about this all apps are absolutely free for the first app it's called Tembox. so anytime if you're signing up for any of the uh, newsletter or they're asking for an email other than putting an actual email you should download this app it's called Tembox. over here after you download the app you're gonna tap on your address after that you're gonna make sure you check this it's gonna make a password as well after that you're gonna tap on random so if you just tap on random it's gonna give you a new username after that you're gonna click on create and after that it's gonna take a few seconds and after that you're gonna tap on copy and after that anytime they're asking for an email after that you're going to go back to the website and after that you're going to click on control v and there's going to be an email and you're going to click on download and then after just like that it is going to be in an inbox after that if you over here just click on come on and click a uh, subscribe then you can just click on skip then you can click on skip again after that if you just go back and look at this over here is, is for the email it's going to pop up within a few seconds so for, so for, uh, for something it can take some time but things for just now for uh, uh, most of the time it's going to come with in a few seconds and for the best part about this if you right click on it you can uh, archive the email you can remove it or, or you can and delete it for app number two is called Mac and it's one of the copy word organizer it's time to copy this right here click on command c i copied it but things now i go to different object and click on command c so the last thing i copy is going to be gone but things with this app but things with this app is called Mac anything i copy is going to show up right here so this, this is all the reason it's going to give you all the reason and then if you just tap on it it's going to copy the last thing so now i can just open up a new tab then click on Control v it's going to paste the thing how cool is that there's more to this app if you just go to your menu right here and then tap on the uh, mac icon right here so these are all the thing that it is actually you copied recently so with this it actually make your life so much easier so anytime if you want to get to the recent one other than opening the app you can just go to your menu bar and it's gonna uh, be right there for app number three is called Kichu and it's one of my favorite app to use every single day for mac so this have only one job to show you all the shortcut that you need to know for every single app so uh, let's say I open a Safari and then hold a uh, command or I can just uh, click on command two times and then hold it. So if you hold the command, it's going to show me all the shortcut I need to know uh, for, for, for Safari. And over here, here in the right, it's going to show me my custom one. So if you want to do a custom shortcut, you can do it as, uh, as well. So let's say I open up uh, Spotify and hold the command and it's going to show me all the shortcut I need to know for spotify so let's say i open up a notion calendar it's going to show me all the so if you open up notion it's going to show me all the shortcut i need to know for notion if you open up my a calendar it's going to show me all the shortcut i need to know uh, for that calendar how cool is that app number four is called hidden bar and this is a really simple app and it's really easy to use and this app only one job to hide all a uh, menu item under this arrow right here so if you just tap on the arrow it's going to show up all the apps uh, right here all the apps icon and after that after a few seconds it's going to be gone automatically just like that so this so if you want to uh, move something so this is how it works so so this is how the app works so let's say i need to move something I need to move this music. I just drag it right here. Then I put it like that. If you just do it like that, it's not going to work. So I have to just hold it down and you have to just remove it between the line. So did you see the line right here? So you need to move it in the line. So if it's not in the line, it's not going to work. So if it's not in the line, if you just go right here, it's going to be gone. For app number five is called XName. And it's one of the best skin show or app you can download for a Mac. So I try many different ones, but this is my favorite. So if you take a screenshot, you're going to hold the option, comma, and S at the same time. And after that, you can actually select it. So if you do the full screen, you can. But things if you to select something, you can hold it and, and then tap on it. After that, you're going to get all this option you can do. So if you want to do arrow, you can uh, draw arrow right here. So And then if you want to draw a circle, you can do that as well. And then if you fix it so like that and then over here if you want to add a text you can and do that as well so just tap on it and after that you can add text and after that if you want you can choose a different a color as well and after that there's a uh, other option you can do over here if you just tap on the download it's just gonna uh, take a screenshot and it's gonna download it for app number six it's called quad reader and it's one of the best app you can download to read any article so uh, let me show you this so let's say you want to read this article because in the top this ad if you go down there's a a, a subscriber so there's a hindus letter that's a okay, disturbing if you go down there's a more 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 ad so just not this is not only it is subscribe as well so uh, let's go here there's a there's two ad in the bottom if you go down there's a in another ad right there there's another one so this make it your uh, reading so bad but things with this app the, the quad reader and if, so with this app the 
so the app creditor is going to re remove all the ad so for this you have to just hold down command shift and d at the same time and after that just give it a two to the second and after that it's going to open up the creditor so look at this it remove all the ad from the website and then it make your reading so much easier so all the images all the article is still here but things for the ad is gone uh, look at this if i just go back to the website and, and now uh, let's time to read this uh, after you just click on the sm shortcut command shift and d for two seconds and boom just like that app number seven is called rectangle and it's one of the best split screen app you can download for your mac so that's how it works so let's say i want to go back to in this two app so let's say i want to go between safari and spotify so that's how it works so all the thing i have to do actually go to the menu right here and over here is going to show me all the shortcut i need to know come on and left and this is going to go to the left and over here if you just go to the common right it, it, it is going to go to the right as simple as that over here if you want to move this to the right i will just click on a command and right arrow it's going to go to the right and if you want to move this to the left i just click on a command and left and then it's going to go to the left as simple as that so this makes your life so much easier if you want to go between two app app number eight is called numi this is the calculator that everyone need to use so if you're using the default one make sure you, you, you delete that you can't but make sure other than using the default one make sure you use this one because on, on, not only you can do your simple math if you need to do that you can do it as well but things there's so much other things you can do so if you need to do a, like a really hard math you can it is gonna do it but things there's a, a, so much things you can do so let's see if you need to convert something let's see m to m and, and it's gonna do that as well so let's say to do a thousand m to a same is gonna do that as well but things it does the more thing you can do so let's say if you want to do 100 euro or in dollar boom it's just like that how cool is that for app number nine is called app cleaner and this have only one job to uh, delete up any app so not only is going to delete up the app any file that is in the app is going to uh, delete that as well so let's say i need to delete this i just have to dagger right here and anything is going to for, for find everything it's going to find the app it's going to find all the app information all the app data and if you just tap on it gone just like that so everything from that app is gone app number 10 is called latest and with this app it have only one job to update all the apps so any any apps that you're gonna find from app store or like any app from the website as well is gonna update all of them so that's how it works so this is gonna find all the app that need update up to that it's gonna tap on update and it's gonna update it as simple as that so look at this so for the last of updated just tap on that i tap on update it's gonna take a few seconds a uh, depending on the update size and after that it's gonna update it as simple as that so anything uh, that's gonna update it it's gonna show up right there so anytime there's any update it's just gonna tap on it and after that it's gonna update it as simple as that okay for more content just like this one make sure you like the video and don't forget to click the subscribe button and if you see 12 more apps you need to download for your mac if that are absolutely free make sure you click on this bit right here and peace out